listen to Delgado. Unless you want to get keelhauled across the key. Need something? Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, that be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokoff, I guess we can give him another chance. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I... got it. Bannock 4. Let's see... Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant. You can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Nope. EM-class is certain death. Back it up. Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. EM class means the planet is giving off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship. You'd be dead in space. Get it? Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra-bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But... Before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the Comm Spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that Comm Spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. You're no damn picnic to work with either, so deal. All right, that is enough. We are an arm. Now, both of you get... All right. Let's... Sorry. I was lost in the memory for a moment there. How can I help? seen the 
fleet came out of the mud. We grind for every cred, and it shows. Let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I gonna be very disappointed? Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call, but that's on you. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. Better get a move on. The fleet's the only family you need. We'll have the whole settled systems on Here the Here to upgrade someday. that ship of yours? Thanks for making me look good. Those crabs ain't gonna steal themselves. Anything ship-related, you're at the right place. Catch Anything you later. Anything I can help you with, Captain? I have something for you. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Nice work. Any specific evidence you picked up regarding criminal activity should be given to- If the evidence pans out, you- But for now, what do you have- Yes. And I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. We've taken care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. It sounds like you admire that lunatic. I think his gospel's gone straight to your head. Maybe we made a mistake choosing you for this assignment. That's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. They have information about the comm spike? Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advance. There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. I don't see the point. The Crimson Fleet apparently has a pipeline of information flowing from somewhere within the UC military. Any attempt to move the comm spike would be a waste of time. 
We need to play this close to the vest. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. This mission is going to require... Remember to turn in any evidence frag... Hmm? Glad to hear. Are you kidding me? Dombrowski was already making a six-figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Oh, anything else? All right. Keep it. We'll be here if you need us. Okay, hello. Hey, you might want this. Ships separated. Engaging drive. might want this. Lay it on me. Yes, right. I like my weapons like I like my coffee. Scalding. All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comm spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jim's. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Hmm, sounds like a situation that calls for a fist bump. Unless she wants my knuckles, too. I sure hope so. Cause she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. You'd better. For your sake. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. 
Perfect. That's okay. So, I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay. You'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. Good luck. If you want to stay under the radar, I've got just the thing. If you've got the credits... All right. So this is the key.
listen to Delgado. Unless you want to get killed. So, what's the point? Of what? This. Is it some sort of art? A Zen garden? What? It's a communal art installation. It's supposed to... Do our jobs at evening hours. I take it your neighbors new recruit. Shelves, floors. It's not much, but it's enough. Careful. The walls up. SY 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. 
Sounds like just another day in the office. We really should upgrade our safety standards. Being able to adapt under pressure should serve you well. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. We'll talk more on the ship. No lawyer can't say I'll have what you need. Happy to make a deal of it. Stop by any time. This... I help out Henry from time to... Stay out of trouble. Private sector. Now that's where the real money's at. The trade, the trade authority, authority seems be to guess? be doing just fine. for themselves, unsurprisingly. Been up there, huh? Space. We're doing the best we can. Well, that's what I'm here for. You look to be in fine. We're no reliant. Go 
see a bad ball game sometime. I really feel like this is our year. I wanna... Apparently, that's the law, and it's been in existence from the beginning. Is that your ship that landed not too long ago? Oh yeah, that's UC Security. They're busier than normal these days, it seems. Yes, what? Excuse me. What if we leave a few things here and make a second trip?
core connect. Looking to blow a hole in something? If you've got the credit. All right, get out of here. Yeah, what? Need something? Now we're getting... Buzz off. Busy.
Need to move some merch. This is the place. This better not be a waste. <laughs> yes, let's. Done here. Time to move on. Need a yeah? What do you want? I've got more than you. You doing okay? Always keep plenty of ammo in stock too. I've got no complaints. New Atlantis is the shining beacon of humanity these days, so they say. I'd argue that the beacon of humanity should be measured in our overall survival mode.
always looking for the next mark. Yes? Pardon? Hey! Howdy. Credits keep rolling in, life's good. Humans are bound to leave biological matter behind whenever we visit these kinds of worlds.
perfect. We have so much. Oh, I love breathing in the air here. You'd imagine it would smell like any other city, but it smells tranquil. <laughs> that makes sense. Like the air carries a dash of herbal tea with it. Glad you're in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. Hey! Nobody could stop the Crimson Fleet. Yes? Howdy. Yes, what? I have something for you. This is UC Security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. And we're done. always been a bit of a pit in my stomach. I know it wasn't related to Irvin's death, but 
It happened right before he died, so the events were both emotionally linked to me. Welcome to Gagarin. Your ship needs My construction is a dead industry, Chief Pretorius. Those jobs aren't coming back. But Reliant Medical, Arkmite, and Satori Mills are dedicated to Gagarin. We were just hoping Gagarin could show the same dedication in return. I'm not closing off the city every time you want to run a tour group through here. Our investor visits are the key to making Gagarin a place that works again. A place where people want to live again. People are living here just fine. Now. If you'll excuse me, I have security work to get back to. Oh, Chief Pretorius? But Arkmite does. Thanks to our investment, the largest formerly shuttered mech plant in the city has... And we're sharing that. We were only asking the Chief to... Unfortunately, some of the locals... We expect they will. This has been lovely. Really. I'm sorry, but if this isn't directly related to relying medical business, you should really schedule an appointment. Gagurin is a city on the rock. Archimite and Satari. What's that like? I tied him, really. Though, we've been having some... I better get back to it. I hope this is important. Reliance always here when you need us. The medical materials here require special temperature controls, which means I've probably got the coolest job in Gagarin, literally. You're not the usual courier. Are you now? Look, I'm expecting a very important package. Very important. Quickly. I pay, and I... I don't know. Good. Is this a bad idea? It's a hike. We'll get out of the damn city. Remember what the horizon looks like. In the sun. With dust devils chasing us. You just want to go to Lizzie's. No one's gonna eat us there. Akachi Rosenblum. United Transport, Hugarn Branch. Now, please. Akachi, it's Helena, over at Reliant Medical. Your courier never showed. I need his stops for the day. This is my I don't care voice, Akachi. Oh, and what's your firm's policy on losing our branch as a client? I thought so. Send it to my personal slate. Thank you, Akachi. Here, all the places our courier might have gotten way late. She mentioned a panel or something that you can plug his ID number into at each delivery point. They should tell you if he's been there recently. The ID's 8148. When you do finally track him down, you can tell him you'll be completing delivery. Now go get me my package. Please. You have not been authorized to direct this unit. Thank you for your understanding. Welcome to Clint's. Whatever you need, I'm sure, except Mick Park. If you need anything, might not be the prettiest.
You ever read about the early history of space flight? <laughs> so political. Back at last. Did you find the courier? Think you might need to work on those priorities a bit. I'm sorry if my straightforwardness offends you. Now, did you find the man or not? My god. Dead. Well, I suppose that explains why my employee, Mr. Maximoff, disappeared so suddenly. And why the tracking beacon I installed on his ship was detected fleeing the planet. Here, your payment for finding the courier. It seems... What would you say to finding Mr. Max... Excellent. Mr. Maximoff, Bonifant, appears to have set down on another world here in Alpha Centauri. Holy. Go there and see what he may know on the subject of our fallen courier and our missing data. I know a guy who just got a job at the Centauri Mills plant. Won't say what they pay, but... something for you.
Uh, I swear, some planets just smell uh, wrong. Like a warning somehow. Is Stinky sense a thing? The nicer the operation is, the meaner security is. It's an inverse relationship. Might be able to salvage some raw materials from this place. Need it now.
always a pleasure watching. Excuse it. Sure. Well, that's all I have to. Carrying a lot. You want to take a moment to shuffle things around? Fine, let's go. Ha! This never gets old. Come on, let's finish this. Whoa, deal with them. I gotta get me out of here. Engaging hostile. God, Ugh. you know, honestly didn't expect to see security to get here. So, wait, you're not with security. Who, who are you? Well, I can help enough. Maldonado, the man responsible for killing the courier, stealing my ship, and dragging me here. He's got the data. He's looking to auction off our research and frame me for the theft. But that son of a bitch crossed the wrong man. What do you say we go get Reliance property back? You've got my word, it's the truth. 
I was just popping out to grab some coffee when someone stuck something in my neck. Next thing I know, I'm bound on my own shit, listening to Maldonado blabber about how he's planning to spend the money he'll be making off Reliance hard work, which we're not going to let happen. You don't need to worry about me. We'll both be safer with someone watching our backs. Now, no more arguing. Let's go. Maldonado's quarters are towards the rear of the facility. Don't worry, though. I'm sure you noticed he didn't exactly pay for Ecliptic's finest. No Ecliptic A team would have missed a pistol on their only captive, for example. And I took several firearms courses before my transfer to Gagarin. This should be child's play. What's the meaning of all this? I am not to be... Huh. <sighs> Bonavent. So, Reliant sends along a merc of their own, then. Shut it! Hand over the data, or I'll promise you'll regret it. Well, look at that fire. Junior executive, no more. The answer is no, Mr. Maximoff. This data's worth a lot of money to my potential buyers. Of course, it doesn't have to be just me that benefits. Now, this will go better if Reliant you sent you, then you've had the uh, pleasure of meeting Ms. Strickland. Mm, lovely woman, don't you think? Well, I just want to let you know that you're playing for the wrong side here. Helena Strickland is a credit-pinching hag who won't pay you a fraction of what this data is actually worth in the right hands. 
I, however, understand the importance of appropriate compensation. I will pay you handsomely right now to turn around, get back in your ship, and inform Helena that our Bonavant here betrayed her. That he killed the courier, stole Reliant's precious data, but was then tragically killed during the handoff with Ecliptic. I'll even handle the killing part myself. What do you say? Quiet! It's not gonna work! It's not, right? Wait, you're not actually considering this, are you? Yes, maybe Helena's on the more frugal side of things. But did you not hear him? He's talking about killing me. All we want is that data. Sit tight, Bonafont. Hmm, well, I can't say I didn't try. But, um, I've got an auction to plan, so... All yours. Thank God. I'll take my own ship back to Gagarin. I'm sure Helena will be... Well, she'll be happy to see you, at least. I hope that Claude didn't do too much damage to my ship. I wonder which corporation is pulling this. Hey. You might want this.
mutations. Please ask the supervisor if you need something. You're back. Without Mr. Maximoff. Is... is he all right? You didn't have to... deal with him, did you? Maldonado. I know that name. He's a renowned data broker. Black Market. I'll have to let Corporate know about his involvement. And that you managed to stop him. This was good work. Excellent work. Speaking of which, would you be so kind as to hand over the data? That seems reasonable. Here, for a job well done. You have reliance and my gratitude. I have something for you.
Hmm? Do you need... Not a problem. Okay, then. Always looking for the next mark. Excuse me. Okay, hello.
Hello. All right. A few things to... When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to. Of course. I don't expect it to be. And if it is, we'll just blame Delgado. You know what they say, it all starts at the top. Ha! <laughs> I doubt he'll see it that way, but I'll keep that in mind. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. We'll grab jump the SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship, the fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. Yes. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. I would hope not. But if they do... Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Need something? Just wait here? Handling this whole captain thing. The galaxy away. Excuse me. Jade Swan, loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks.
Where did I leave that box? Oh, this place is a damn maze. This is Captain Juan Dayu. And you found the intercom. That's a start. If I'm not mistaken, the maintenance door should be in front of you. If you can find a way to open it, it'll get you past the first checkpoint. I'm not worried. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Anyway, the door will let you access the vents. Go up the vents and to the barracks. You should find a uniform there. The uniform should get you through the checkpoint and to the elevators. We'll talk again once you get to the command bay. I've heard the technology in this station would make the FC surrender before we even started another call. Another day, another patrol. Oh! Well, this is embarrassing. I, I seem to have lost my key to the maintenance room again. I've covered pretty much every inch, but that one guard, the one I owe credits to, is parked right there, so I'd rather not go there. Something I can help you with? Elijah? Hello, sticky fingers.
You've been to the mess hall? Culinary specialist.
State your business. Logging and sin level clearance. Go on ahead. Your friend there have the same clearance? Mm-hmm. We're together. Then you're both good to go. Hello, Captain. You got my attention, Cap. Here? Got. The sky should work, and it's all so fun. It's like role-playing with higher stakes. <laughs> Just don't get too carried away. You're pirates, not actors. And don't forget, you'll still need the coat. Try the security office. They likely have a computer there that has what you need. Going down for now. We'll talk again once you've located your target. They say, Marine, if you're 15 minutes early, you're still 10 minutes late. Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. Your clearance, Nakasaka. I assume the two of you are together? Of course. I go where they go. Then you're both clear. Commander Natara, test flights for the latest prototypes are ready to go. Acknowledge me, Dennis. I don't recognize your face, Ensign. Are you new? I don't know you, Ensign. You sure you have clearance? How were the tests with the comms back to it? Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. It's always something with that doctor. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, We'll simply monitor the situation at the cargo bay. For now, I've recommended to Dr. Vogel to contact me immediately if he identifies any suspicious meetings. Are you here? Cargo 
vehicles almost unloaded. We'll be departing shortly. You are, and I've delivered you just as the Gardo asked. That being said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. But it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can steal. As a member of the Crimson Fleet, I trust you can handle that. I like the confidence. Either way, good luck. If you make it out alive, next time you're... Intercepting transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types, but the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Yes, it's not the destination, but the ju But don't worry. We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than 2%. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the... That was fast. I thought I put in the request this... Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone hate. You're right. Classified, I... I... You make a compelling... Ah, oh, yes. That is... Commander Natara, you say? Oh, well, we don't want to make her angry. She's terrifying. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new test pilot. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. Uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice.
Pilot? I heard the team is looking for uh, pilots. I've been so stressed yes. out you thinking about this flight. project. seeing any action, but securing a station like this is a pretty important to me. Reporting for duty, pilot. Another test flight, huh? You pilots are braver than me. You're clear to pass. Don't forget to schedule the flight in the control center. Upgrading security here is one of Commander Natara's big initiatives. I've heard the engineers say Dr. Vogel's an AI. I guess that's their way of saying he's smart. Or boring. SY920 Marines are handpicked to maintain our security most of us here. Prototype ship, you are cleared for takeoff. We'll begin the test on your departure. Airlock and move. 
You might want this. Well, well, well. Welcome back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. That's a real hand. nice ship you brought we'll in. I can't Rome wait to tinker with it. Can have a look. Bulk grog is fine if you like cheap moonshine. Some people think this place is scary. It can be, for sure. But there are just regular people here. Some are good-hearted, others struggle with it. Always good to remember that. Rook? No, Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comm spike. You read my mind. I don't like the thought of putting my routes in jeopardy over an old story. But I respect Delgado and I believe he's on to something. What that is, though, remains to be seen. Looks like everyone's starting to buy in. Well, stealing. Pirates don't actually buy anything. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. I wonder if I ordered a one. If you need credits, hit up the mission boards. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comm spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Com spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. 
Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. You damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away, neighbor. Now, why don't you give us the info on our neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Technically, we already answered to you, but point taken. And if you fail me here, you will not like the answers I give. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us, so I want you focused. We are one step away from Crix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. I got a bounty so big, the Tri-Guys Alliance had to beef up their servers just to keep it up. Do the Crimson Fleet have a plank? In case anyone wants to go for a walk. Here to up, if you want to stay under the radar, I've got just the thing. All business and no... All right. I have something for you. Always listen to Delgado. Unless you want to get killed. I have something for you.
being hurtled through space once more. Okay, I'm sweating. It's just too hot. There has been rumors of soldiers smuggling personal items into the station. 
I doubt it. You seem way too way too Anything new to report? We'll be here if you need us. At ease, soldier. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. Honor, loyalty, and valor are exactly the attributes we admire in a CISDEV operative. See, those are the exact things I've got on my resume. What a coincidence. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short, and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. That all depends on what you've brought back. Aside from your eyewitness testimony, I assume you have the usual evidence that could lead to her incarceration? I can take it off your hands once we complete your debriefing, but... Then it's just a matter of time. So what does Delgado have you... The conduction grid? That's brilliant, but is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. I'll see what I can do. All right. I'll be looking forward. Remember to turn in any evidence fragments you find. Hey, Let me know Captain. if you need anything else. Can I talk with you for a bit? You know, traveling with you has been more than just good old-fashioned fun. It's been, well, therapy. That's fair and honest. Used to not be so fond of teams, as I recall. Something about trusting individuals, right? I guess a good team is a team where you trust everyone individually. So it checks out. Which brings me back to that plan I mentioned earlier. I think I know how to move forward now. But I'm going to need your help. My contact sent a gift. Seems real to me. So they found an insurance settlement. Irvin's employers got paid as compensation for sabotage. It seems that the mining company got a huge payout after they won the case against Irvin. We have the settlement paperwork from their insurance. Tons of money. But missing. So I discovered that Irvin's original lawyer still practices law. And she'll look over everything we found. Oh, detective. I like the sound of that. If I'm the detective, does that make you my trustworthy and sensible partner with a heart of gold? Damn right we are. Anyway, we should take everything to the lawyer and see what she says. Maybe she reviews it and decides we have no case, or we need more evidence. I don't know. If we don't have a case, I can probably let it go. But I have to try. Fantastic. I've sent a list of everything we've found so far to the lawyer and Gagarin. You know, I, I actually feel... Lead the way, detective. There's been rumors of soldiers smuggling personal items... Captain.
Let's get out of here. Navigational feedback checks have you in the right space. place. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. Be advised, you have been identified as a known criminal. Respond immediately. All ships, we have a hostile in orbit. Deadly force is authorized. Intercepting hostile ship. No native life forms here right now, but it's got a lot of character, doesn't it?
should have packed a sweater. Or ten. Hey, you might want this.
might want this. Funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough light traffic as it is. Everything good? We're here to help. Do not bother me.
Keep moving. The scanners won't hurt you. Astral Lounge, Euphorica, blah, blah, blah. This place is where it's at. You looking to get zoned? Yeah. Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Specifics, huh? I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. All right, all right, I get the point. Let's just get this over with. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. <laughs> Beneath your feet, genius. It's the lowest level of neon. Jennerdyne and Xenofresh are down there, along with some of the finest cuisine in the city. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Well, well, look at you. You're smarter than I thought. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. And I suppose you're gonna head down to Jennerdyne and kick down the door? Wow, it's so simple. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight, but as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass and you'll have the run of the place. Ryujin Cloud doesn't mean shit at Jennerdyne. So you're gonna have to deal with Komiko and potentially her boyfriend, Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorica. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Businesswoman, 
tough as whole plating. She's the COO at Jenner Dine, and I can assure you she didn't get there with her winning smile. As for her relationships, well, that's a bit more complicated. Publicly, she's having a bit of a fling with Benjamin Bayou, but rumor has it that she's just using Bayou and having a little bit of fun on the side with Micah, the owner of Euphorica. If I were you, I wouldn't bother trying to appeal to her good nature. She's a manipulative person who uses people to get what she wants. I mean, I know I'm gorgeous, but you don't have to stand there and stare. Don't let Komiko push you around. She isn't as tough as she seems. So those Varun Zealots were from the snake. Help, hold on. You're home away from home here on the island. You need original board. Never look in the mirror and wish you could see another version here and see. I think I got them. Oh, what do you call them? Have you tried one of our advanced teller machines? Galbank ATMs are spread throughout the space. And now launching more and more assaults. Yeah, what? Let me save you some time. Good. If you... Look, I'm afraid that things aren't... I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the Research and Development Division. Of course it is, but we're teetering on the edge of a precipice. One wrong move and the whole operation topples into the ocean. The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D Division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. I actually need our CEO's approval for that. And so far, it's been denied. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. 
I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? You know what? You're absolute. Hey, look. Uh, thanks. For if there's anything else you need, any question? As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. You might be right. I'd like to think so. Oh, is this really what... Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? Sure, sure, no. It was great speaking with you. Are you lost? What do you think? Hey, stop! In the name of the law! You're that doing. isn't yours! Neon security! Your... I thought for sure... You're out there a lot, right? In space? Save it for someone who gives a damn. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink. No, no, not this again. You people should leave her alone. What do you... <laughs> no way. You debt collectors are low life. Now get out of my club. The... the Crimson Fleet? Oh, sorry, I just... Ayumi owes a lot of... If you want to talk to her, of course, access to the lounge is... Excellent. Please let us know if... Enjoy your stay. I like coming here. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. How the hell did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room and you to the facility. I'm warning you, though. 
Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. If you had to work with... The man is still a totally incompetent fool, and he's running our company into the ground. The worst part of it is that he's Administrator Bayou's brother, so I can't fire him. I can't reassign him. I can't even yell at him. It's like having a cut on your body, and you're helplessly watching yourself bleed to death. Except in our case, we're hemorrhaging money. I suppose if I don't explain, a copy of that recording you found might end up on the next SSNN re A few years back, the previous CEO of Genardine went missing. As the COO, I was next in line for the job. Instead, Bayou muscled his way into the company and gave me an ultimatum. Either back up his bullshit Mr. Harada identity, or I'm gone. I had no choice. But I decided right then and there, I was going to do whatever I could to take what was rightfully mine. If that meant seducing Bayou to tip him off balance, then so be it. Luckily for me, Mike has been incredibly understanding about the whole thing. More than you can possibly imagine. Micah is the only person in this godforsaken city that's kept me from going completely under. She doesn't want money, doesn't use me for influence or as a stepping stone to get ahead. She loves me, and when this stu- I just know this is gonna come back to bite me on the ass. I just know it. Take it easy! I have something for you. You. Yeah, you. You're really going to walk on by and miss out on a chance to experience. If I have to eat fish for dinner one more time.
where the magic happens. And by magic, I mean creating Aurora out of fish guts, I guess. Not in Not in Everybody works the best when they're scared and tired, right? saw anything like that before. Do you see that hole in the ceiling too? Hmm. Sensors have detected. Activity. Uh, Catastrophic damage. He is well, right?
didn't think this through, huh? I need to chill out. Do you think we'll ever get a visit from Genodyne's CEO? Mr. Harada hasn't visited this facility since... I'm well, not sure he's ever been to Neon at all. I have other things to do anyway. You're mine. Don't shoot. If you want the encryption cipher, you're, you're welcome to it. There's no need for all this violence. <laughs> Look, there's no need to be... I, I'm not trying to trick you. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I think you could safely say that... You know, I've, everything always works out for him. I, well, I've been bouncing from one and all the way. Sounds like what old Benjamin needs is a good punch in the nose. Yeah. Nothing else would hurt. You know what? I am sick to... The passcode for my terminal is GEM-4... I'm getting out of here, Wise. Do me a favor and don't tell my brother we talked. Hmm? He, uh... out if you carry all this stuff. Have some.
Ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. All too well. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contra. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. That's what they tell me. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. I've always appreciated that you get right to the point, Bayou. Brayson. Interesting. And here I... Hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Brayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. Well, maybe you can use this situation to turn your brother into a more useful, uh, asset, may you? So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement? Oh, when you get back to the Key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard. I want this. The Astral Lounge spared no expense with their marketing. Benjamin Bay, see? That's why we get along. Realize how dangerous that could you be. Can handle. Doors over that way.
This place is like my second home. Yes, what? If you're hiring, I could... I think you'll agree, my... Why is that? Let's not... Yeah, I hope so. Better than being on... Thanks. Where are you... I'm on my way. Hey. Ooh, velocity's such a grab rush. Maybe you'd like to try it. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. You're not the least bit concerned that he found the virus and figured out where we were meeting that quickly. Must be nice to be so naive. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead in the water at this point. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jenardyne is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I... That's pretty cool of you to offer. Sorry, Estelle. This was your scheme. You're on your own. Believe me, he's not going to be much help. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. Sounds reasonable enough to me. I appreciate that. I really do. How much, uh... Well, it's a bit less... Ta-da! All right, I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send them to talk to me. Just watch your ass. Benny isn't exactly gonna be tickled that you've been talking to his brother. Shouldn't you be headed back to the key? I hear things are heating up back at the key. Rumor has it that if there's even a... Ch Tell Neva she still owes me a drink for our poker game. What can I get you to? Oh.
pretty bad in Ebside lately. That's nothing new. Please. Maybe we should set up more posts in here. 